Let's talk just a moment about whether a CAS, this is calcium sulfide, is soluble or insoluble in water. This one's a little bit tricky. So I have my solubility rules, but I don't have a rule for sulfides. So let's pull in a rule for some sulfides here. And the general rule, and you'll see this on different sets of solubility rules, is that the sulfides of metals are insoluble with a few exceptions, sodium sulfide, potassium sulfide, these elements in group one here, and ammonium sulfide. And then barium sulfide, calcium sulfide, and magnesium sulfide, they're sparingly soluble. So they dissolve a little bit, but not very much. We might even call them slightly soluble. So if we look at a solubility table here, let's see what that looks like. This is just a portion of a larger solubility table. There's a link in the description. So we find calcium here and then sulfide. So we go over and then we go down and there's this S. That means that it's soluble. So according to our solubility table, it's soluble. We know from the solubility rules, it's only slightly soluble though. We could also look the data up and see how much dissolves in water at different temperatures to kind of figure out how soluble it is. But there is a bit of a problem when we talk about the solubility of calcium sulfide. So for school, if you were given this table, you can look at it and say that it's soluble. Or if you know the solubility rules, slightly soluble. But calcium sulfide actually reacts with water. And because of that, we really can't say that it's soluble or insoluble. It reacts with the water. It changes into something new. So it's just good to be aware of that. There's a link in the description that'll show you what that reaction looks like. This is Dr. B with the solubility for calcium sulfide, C-A-S. Thanks for watching.